Hello, welcome to the Daily Devotion. I'm Kathy Morris, pastor of the Dixon United Methodist Church. Simone Weil was a, a French mystic who lived between 1909 and 1943. She was born into a Jewish family but went on to have a powerful conversion experience in which she felt the, the love of, of Jesus Christ in a very real way. She was overwhelmed by Christ's humility upon the cross. Simone Weil's mysticism was not just about experiences of ecstasy, spiritual moments of, of high. She also had a very deep commitment to serving the needs of others. In fact, she worked in England on behalf of the French resistance. During this time, she became so depleted that she contracted tuberculosis and died at a young age. Simone Weil wrote, The human soul has need of security and also of risk. The fear of violence or of hunger or any other extreme evil is a sickness of the soul. The boredom produced by a complete absence of risk is also a sickness of the soul. One of the great risk takers of the Christian family was the Apostle Paul. Paul himself had a very powerful conversion experience on the road to Damascus. Paul gave himself completely to the service of Christ. He proclaimed the good news of Jesus always and everywhere, even though it put his life at risk. Paul was not careless or rash. It was more a matter of having a radical trust, a radical trust in God's power and provision for his life. Paul believed that God wanted him to be taken to, to Rome to, to stand on trial before, before Caesar. He was transported from Palestine to Italy by boat. On the journey, they encountered a dangerous storm that threatened the ship and everyone on board. Paul may have been the prisoner, but he was the one that was, was truly the most confident of all of them. He was the boldest in the face of this storm. In our Bible reading for today, we hear Paul's message to the crew. I'm reading from the book of Acts, chapter 27, verses 22 through 25. And I'm reading from the New Revised Standard Version. I urge you now to keep up your courage, for there will be no loss of life among you, but only of the ship. For last night there stood by me an angel of God to whom I belong and whom I worship. And he said, Do not be afraid, Paul, for you must stand before the emperor. And indeed, God has granted safety to all those sailing with you. So keep up your courage, men, for I have faith in God that will, it will be exactly as I have been told. Do not be afraid. Keep up your courage. These are confident words indeed. But Paul was not confident that things would just magically work out. Paul was confident that God would fulfill God's promise. It isn't so much a matter of us being called to take risks. We are called to have trust, to trust in God. And when we can trust in God, we are able to live boldly. For a prayer exercise, I would encourage you to go on a walk. And for at least part of that walk, to, to take a few steps in a way that, that you feel are bold steps. As you do this, may you be mindful of God's power. God's power that makes it possible for you to live boldly and courageously.